What's going on everybody? I am the Ebony Genius with the Labnificent Media Group. I got a very special individual in front of me today. Uh, a man that's known as a nobody to some, but a friend to many. That's right. The founder of the Music and More Foundation. That's right. Mr. Terrence Williams. How you doing, sir? I'm good, bro. How you doing? Man, I'm taking it easy, man. Cool, I'm just trying cool. to keep these bills paid. What about yourself? Yeah, that's all we can do, bro, you know. Uh, still networking with people. Yeah. Still bartering with people. Still, uh, you know, getting things done. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, uh, here, here today to talk to you about uh, your company, man. Uh, okay. The Music and More Foundation. Um, explain to the people what the Music and More Foundation is and uh, what its purpose is. Well, uh, its purpose is uh, what we do is we issue small grants to public access radio stations, the performing arts and music organizations. Uh, right now, our main uh, program or project is uh, Area Poets. So we created a, a lot of platforms for the poets. Uh, three radio shows on three, diff three different uh, radio stations. Uh, we hooked up with the Dispatch Post, so we do a uh, first Friday poet of the month. We've been doing it for uh, I think six months now so far uh, we, we do events at the Nelson Atkins Museum three times a year uh, One of them theme was men of poetry then the other one was uh, women of poetry uh, then the other one was uh, The gospel of poets live yeah, and that's also one of my radio shows on KPRT and the other radio show is uh, called the poetry scene live on KCPZ Okay. Yeah, bro, we've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, with that being said, what motivated you to start the Music and More Foundation? Uh, what motivated me is a, a friend of mine named uh, Jenny Dugan. Uh, she was a poet. Uh, I went to two of her poetry events. One of them, uh, I re wasn't really, really paying attention to it, but the second one she invited me to, I went there and I listened to her and I really enjoyed it. So I walked up to her, I said, hey, Jenny, uh, Either you're gonna host one of the poetry events that I produce, or you're gonna be in it. Which one? And she said, uh, uh, either one's cool with me, T baby. And after that, uh, that's what, what really motivated me to do it. So uh, I started uh, investigating uh, how to get started. Uh, but when she passed away, uh, that's what really inspired me to, to, to really move forward with this. I just didn't know how I was gonna do it. Uh, and a lot of people know that I work down the street uh, from the Music and More Foundation uh, in, in the uh, one-hour photo department. Mm -hmm. well, there was a lady that came through there picking up pictures and she worked with the Greater Kansas City Community Foundation. And I asked her, well, what do y'all do? And she said, well, we, cre we create foundations for individuals and big companies. So I researched it and and it, it was true, they was right. So that's how I started the Music and More Foundation. So we're umbrellaed under the Greater Kansas City Community Foundation. And we just move, been moving forward since then. We go, down, we go down to the Missouri State Capitol uh, twice a year. And that's sponsored by the office of Brandon Ellington, Missouri State Rep for the 22nd District. So we're just blessed uh, and we keep moving forward. Okay, cool. Um, that's great. I didn't know that about you, man, about your friend, uh, Jenny Dugan, and how she inspired you to, uh, yeah. to go on your journey, man. Yeah, she did. Uh, shout out. Um, next thing I want to get into, man, is um, if you have any, uh, any suggestions, man, or any words of wisdom to anybody who may want to go on the same journey that you went on, uh, starting their own business or nonprofit or uh, being a benefit to the community, man, um, what words would you have to say? Uh, well, what I would say is... Uh, Follow your dreams. Uh, uh, network with people. Barter with people. Uh, and just do good things and, and you'll stay blessed also. Uh, uh, that's the path that I've been on. Uh, it just came, I'm lost for words. Well, you get into the, uh, the people that inspired you that came before you, you know? Oh, that's a lot of people. Uh, before me, there was Jason Betts, you know, he does poetic notes. Uh, Simeon, he used to do soul sessions, which is now uh, One Mic, which is hosted by uh, Sharila Johnson, 
uh, but Adina, how you uh, pronounce her name? Uh, uh, Nightlife Jones, mm -hmm. he does the Uptown Arts Bar. Uh, Keith Bohannon, he does the uh, Uptown Arts Bar also. Uh, it's just a, a lot of individuals uh, out there that was doing this way, way before me. So, oh, and Bonafide G. Weddington, he been doing this way before me. But uh, a lot of them cats, they, they inspire me and yeah, keep me moving forward. Okay, all right, cool. Um, in conclusion, man, uh, is there anything that you would like that, that you would like the public to know about yourself, um, or any any words of wisdom that you could give to them in conclusion about yourself or the Music and More Foundation? Well, uh, continue supporting us. Uh, you can go to the website www.themusicandmorefoundation.com. Uh, continue coming to our events. Uh, uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, Music and More Foundation, uh, and just continue supporting us and as we support the community. All right, you heard it here first. Uh, like I said before, a man that's known as a nobody to some, but a friend to many. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Terrence Williams, owner and founder, or should I say the founder of the Music and More Foundation, man. Thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs>